let's talk about the importance of learning to trade defensively. One aspect, one incredibly important aspect of trading defensively is sizing down after a couple of losses. You guys want to remain in this business and you want to have a good career. You want to become successful traders. Learn when to fucking increase your size. Learn when to decrease your size and learn when to stop trading. I don't care who you're talking to. I don't care who you are. I don't care how great your magic levels are. It doesn't matter unless you know how to execute. And the only way to execute is defensively. Learn how to trade defensively. You want to learn what the best traders in the world talk about and learn how the best traders in the world trade? Read what Paul Tudor Jones has said about trading. Learn how to trade defensively. I talk about it all the time. You know, we will get chopped up on 80% of the days if we take every little tick out of the opening range up or down. Every time it ticks below the opening range, sold. We do that, we're, 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 we're going to get screwed. Unless we have a system in place to protect ourselves from ourselves. And that, guys, that is two attempts and it's a loss. Two shots. You take two trades and you have two losses in a row, cut size. Cut size. Don't increase size. Most traders want to increase size because you're down money, you want to get it back. No, no, no fucking no. Cut your size after two losses. After four, you're done trading. Walk away. You want to come back and you want to trade again? Go ahead. But do it only when you see something that fits your trade setup, that fits our methodology. If not, skedaddle. It's better to skedaddle than to have it shoved in your ear. I don't like having the market shoved in my ear. Don't like that. Because when it happens, when the market shoved in my ear, it's because of my own actions. It's not because of the market. The market is not going to hurt me. It's not going to help me. It doesn't favor me. It doesn't disfavor me. It's neutral by its very nature. And the information the market provides is neutral. How I decipher it, how I see it, and how I act upon it is up to me. I'm not competing with anybody anymore. And I'm not competing with the market. I am competing only and utterly with me. If I make $100,000 this year, that's because of me. If I make 10 million or 100 million, that's because of me. It's because of my attitude, it's because of my approach, it's because of my habits, it's because of the way that I look at the market, the way that I act upon it, the way that I protect myself and preserve my capital and then grow it. It's not because of the market, it's not because of this guy, that guy, that guy, this guy, or that guy. It is because I chose to trade defensively and I chose to be here for tomorrow. Because maybe today is going to be an easy day. Maybe today we come out of the opening range and we all see the market clearly and we have a nice move and it's nice and we catch 10 points. I'll be happy with that. 15 points, happy with that. 150 points. I'll be just as satisfied with a 150 point move out of the opening range as I am with the 15 point move too. I'm just as satisfied with a choppy day out of the opening range where I do stop trading as I am with a 150 point move because that's what the market gives me and I have no choice but to be satisfied with the market gives me. I didn't say happy, I said satisfied. So learn to trade defensively. The way that we trade mirrors the way that we live. The way that we live mirrors the way that we trade. Learn how to trade defensively, everybody. Have a great week.